Okay, so so you just open up a a project here. Go to up here, this little wrench thingy, and you see all these different ones. Go to add, and then add text. Pressing the little, the double A is how you can change the font. I'm just gonna use Grand Gista. You can also add in different fonts that you get from wherever, okay? And here is where you can change the size, the kerning, the tracking, all that stuff. You can do it all in here, okay? So I'm gonna press the keyboard and keyboard again. I am just going to just write something really quick, okay? All right. I press the paintbrush to get out of it. So first, um, well, I have a, an extra layer. You know, I was not kidding when I say I just randomly make layers. So I am, I made a star one. I'm just going to, now it's too little. So I am actually just going to draw like um, a circle um, or like a weird shaped one, just so you can kind of see how to change it to the shape, right? Okay, and I'm doing it on a different one. So, you go ahead and, um, like, if you, it's, if I was to press here and press again the second time, that's going to pop up. So, touch the text layer, touch it again, and hit edit text, right? Nope, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> okay, so you're touching the, the edit, or, sorry, you have it highlighted, and then touch the arrow up here. There you go. So if you can like, you know, move it uniform or, you know, free form, but you want to hit warp and you see how this box appears like it would, you can do it like this, you know, to try to move it to the spaces. But honestly, that's not going to get it right. So you can hit advanced mesh or unselected and it's going to add an extra one. So I can sit here and you just sit there and you move it around. So you kind of move it everywhere. Oh, that one I moved too far over. It works better if you just do, instead of like doing it all at once, if you just go little bit by little bit so it's still readable or eligible. No, that's not the right word. So yeah. That is pretty much it. <laughs> if you hear the bells, that means my dog wants to be taken outside. <laughs> okay, so that's all that I hit the brush to get rid of it. And I can, yeah. So it's in that shape or, you know, if you wanted to do it, you know, in like that, you could do you know, the, the same thing, add text, and we'll just write something just um, random. We'll, we'll write random. Yeah. So, and we'll just make it a little bit bigger. So, actually, and then I'm going to move it like so, and hit warp, advanced mesh, and just start moving it to where I want it. But yeah, that's how you do it. So I, so after you do that, if you saw that red thing pop up, that's rasterizing it. I am just going to put just a few letters here. Okay, rasterizing it. Um, let me just um, actually hide all this stuff. So right now it's a text. I can, I can hit it to change what it says or to just you know add an extra words it's it's a text it's still a text if you wanted to change it to actually be an image instead of text you click on that layer and hit rasterize and now it's not it's not a text anymore it is a like an actual like image you could sit here and go like this but you could also 
change the color of your font too if you wanted to. So I hope that helped.